dear students welcome to epg patchala i am dr m p stija retired recently from guru nanak dev university amritsar today we are going to discuss the role of professional associations and related bodies in the promotion of the field of knowledge organization as you know that in library and information science there are many associations such as ifla ila ala and uh, uh, in uk there are many such organizations in addition to these general bodies of librarians there are associations of professionals in the at the specialized levels say for music librarians and one of the most important field is the associations in knowledge organization especially in classification and indexing it may be noted that over the years classification and indexing or knowledge organization journal has achieved the status of a discipline and to achieve the status of a discipline it has many features and components for example it should have a theoretical body uh, on which its practice should be based there should be literature in the form of textbooks research articles and above all there should be a body of its members who are engaged in promotion of it and also they get a forum for uh, to come together and uh, express their ideas to learn and to know the current trends in the field similarly the field of knowledge organization fulfills all these uh, features for the last more than 60 years there are many such bodies we will begin with the classification research group that started in 1952 in london then came international society for knowledge organization in late 90s then there are small bodies attached to international organizations such as ifla fid then recently there did was the development of ed ug for the promotion of uh ddc in europe and in addition there are some bodies for uh promotion of indexing methods especially books or these are known as bodies of indexers the bodies of indexers are also related with classification and indexing and they exist in uk usa australia and also at other levels where they all work for the uh, practice of indexing and provide good indexes to them so we will begin with uh, the first of all with the classification research group london objectives of an professional association a professional association or an academic association has many objectives namely an association of professionals seeks to stimulate participation and interaction among the members by affording them an environment for substantive professional exchange it encourages and supports personal and professional growth through opportunities for members to extend their knowledge and skills develop and use professional networks pursue career development goals and assume leadership roles in the association and in the information community it sets norms for quality work and formulates code of conduct for ethics to be observed by professionals for professional uprightness it liaises with the government and the public and acts an interface with the public at large one of the most and the classic organization in our field is classification research group london crg was founded in 1952 in london on a suggestion from the well known scientist jd burnell after the royal society scientific information conference in 1948 among its members were derek austin eric coates justin faraday robert fairthorn douglas foscott barbara kyle derek langridge jack wills bernard palmer jack wells and brian c wickry the group formed important principles on the facet classification 
and also worked on the theory of intergalactic levels. Some of them had already been influenced by the mighty Asaranganathan. Many of them were actively engaged in constructing schemes for arranging and indexing their own collections for industry and research and development, that is specialized classifications. The CRG reached a conclusion that none of the published schemes provided a satisfactory answer either in arrangement or in depth of details. Earlier discussions centered on the methodology and facet analysis. Agreement was quickly reached on the necessity for both analysis and synthesis in classification construction. The CRG accepts faceted classification but does not restrict number to five categories as Ranganathan does. So here is a departure from Ranganathan's basic hypothesis of five and only five fundamental categories. Early work of the group is contained in Sears Memorial Volume edited by D.J. Foscott and Bernard I. Palmer in 1961. This group rejected all the existing schemes of classification as unsatisfactory for the purpose of modern documentation and information retrieval. So first few years were spent on foundations and principles of classification. After the initial discussion, then CRG published its manifesto, that is, the need for a faceted classification as the basis of all methods of information retrieval. Published in Library Association Record, the organ of the Library Association in London, on pages 262 to 68 in July 1955 issue. Contributions of the Classification Research Group Soon afterwards, the members began to produce individual depth schemes for special subjects such as the soil science, garment technology, diamond technology, pharmaceuticals, and occupational safety and health. All these schemes were faced in nature. In the late 1950s, Barbara Kyle joined the group and tried in vain to produce classification without postulating main classes and wanted to divide entire concepts into personality and energy categories not named as such though. The result of the work on special schemes led the group members to believe that this was not the right way to search and the search began to new directions and the they got and they got a small grant of fourteen thousand US dollars from NATO. Ultimately it was to seek new principles for library classification. They tried also to devise universal German classification schemes, but they could not produce a new system because they had believed that new system will be just like old systems and it will be a mere waste of money. The grant, however, led to the development of what is known as precis, that is preserved context subject induction. To continue with the contributions of the CRG, it has to be believed that they have mostly refined Ranganathan's methodology of making classification schedules, including simplification of notations. But most of the work later concentrated upon devising bibliographic classification of achievables in its meetings under the editorship of Jack Mills. In addition to this, CRG has been collaborating with other bodies in organizing international study conferences on classification. Aim was to formulate a generalized information retrieval language with vocabulary and grammar. The classification research group has made a significant contribution to classification research and theory in the field of library and information science in the later half of the 20th century. Late Professor B.C. Vickery played a very pioneering role in the establishment of CRG and almost led it in its beginning years. He was just like a father figure in the group and was very much respected for his contribution to the theory of classification and information retrieval in general. ISCO, the International Society for Knowledge Organization. This society is the principal professional association for scholars of knowledge organization, knowledge structures, classification studies, and information organization 
and architecture founded in 1989 in germany its mission is to advance conceptual work in knowledge organization in all kinds of forms and in all for kinds of purposes such as databases libraries dictionaries and internet an interdisciplinary association its worldwide membership is 400 professionals and institutions as drawn from fields such as the information science philosophy linguistics library science archives studies science studies and computer science isco promotes research development and applications of knowledge organization systems that advance the philosophical psychological and semantic approaches for ordering knowledge it provides the means of communication and networking on knowledge organization for its members and functions as a connecting link between all institutions and national societies working with problems related to the conceptual organization and processing of knowledge the isco has many activities among them are the society publishes the quarterly academic journal knowledge organization and holds biennial international conferences it officially recognizes national chapters in brazil canada china france germany india italy poland spain the united kingdom and the united states isco cooperates with international and national organizations such as unesco the european commission the international organization for standardization iso the international federation of library associations and institution ifla the association for information science and technology asint usa the network knowledge organization system services and the international information system for technology that is infoterm today the international society for knowledge organization is a leading organization with a truly global influence on the progress of research in knowledge organization its scope is broad and interdisciplinary with a mission to advance conceptual work in knowledge organization in all kinds of forms and for all kinds of purposes such as databases libraries dictionaries and the internet in order to achieve its mission and goals isco works to number 1 promote research development and applications of knowledge organization systems that advance the philosophical psychological and systematic approaches for the ordering of knowledge number 2 it provides the means of communication and networking on knowledge organization for its member number 3 it functions as a connecting link between all institutions and national societies working with problems related to the conceptual organization and processing of knowledge activities of isco are many and multifarious number 1 it organizes international conferences every two year in the year 1992 its conference was held in india national and regional conferences on special topics are arranged from time to time it publishes the leading quarterly journal in the field and it is also known by the name knowledge organization formerly it was named international classification which was founded in the year 1974 this general knowledge organization is the basic and core journal in our field isco news published in knowledge organizations quite regularly and last the series of books under the topic advances in knowledge organization are published which are mostly the publications of its conferences and also some other textbooks in this area organization of isco or the how it is structured and the it governs isco is a democratically organized in an executive board with seven members and a scientific advisory council currently with 22 members general body meetings are arranged every two years at the time of isco biennial conference isco has a number of national or regional chapters also isco cooperates with international and national organizations such as unesco the european commission and international standards organization uh, in addition it also collaborates with number 1 ifla the international federation of library associations and institutions in particular the sections on classification and indexing
another is asint sigcr the special interest group on classification research of the american society for information science and technology national kos network knowledge organizations system services and infoterm the international information center for terminology in vienna at present it is the most active and dominant association in the field of knowledge organization its stature and influence are living tribute to the vision and efforts of its founder president dr inge trot dahlberg another important association in our areas has been the fid committee on classification research that is fid cr that lived from 1950 to 2001 it was a specialized committee of fid concerned with classification it was founded in 1952 and named fidca ranganathan was its reporter general during 1951 to 61 its office was also in india and ranganathan was its chairman in 1961 its name was changed to fidcr and its office remained rotated with the change of chairperson work of fidcr was to promote and coordinate study and research in classification it had published country reports and maintained a clearing house for classification literature it had also published who's who in classification and indexing in 1983 its newsletter was started in 1972 which was continued from west germany later it was included in the international journal international classification and now it is carried over in knowledge organization it has done considerable work in the standardization of terminology on classification more important work was of organizing international study conferences on classification with collaboration with other bodies first conference was held in 1957 at dorking where its manifesto was approved ragnathan inaugurated this conference Second conference was held in 1964 Denmark to approve the definition of classification. To continue with the work of FIDCR we must mention the DRTC Bangalore remained the secretariat of FIDCR from 71 to 1978 under the chair of professor E Nilamegan and successfully organized third international conference on classification study and research in Bombay in the year 1975. third conference held in bombay was because the office was there in 1975 the topic was the problem of classifying multidisciplinary subjects and to find some universal order systems its fourth conference was held in asberg in west germany in 1980 and the problem was classification as a tool for research fifth conference was held in canada in 1991 in 1997 its conference was held in london in collaboration with crg in 1994 the name of the fid cr was changed to fid committee on classification research for knowledge organization accordingly its scope was extended to promote sponsor and engage in research in the field of classification as it applies to all aspects of knowledge organization in storage and retrieval systems and in all areas of information handling activities of fid cr historically fid was the proprietor of the udc which it maintained through its another committee known as fid ccc till it was handed over to the newly formed udc consortium in 1992 among its other major accomplishments it provided the know how and other technical guidance in compilation of the broad system of ordering dso published in 78 which is a standard roof classification to act as a switching language between various indexing systems the bso edited by eric jacobs though not a shelf classification is known for its sound theoretical underpinnings the drc bangalore in 1975 instituted the fid cr ranganathan award which was awarded biennially to an individual which has made a distinguished contribution to classification research its recipients among others include derek austin jack mills enila mehgan i dahlberg and elaine sevnonius fdi ceased to exist on 31st march 
due to financial reasons and thus came an abrupt end to a dynamic organization whose seminal contributions to international library and information science, especially in classification, will always be visibly felt and seen. Another important group on classification was of IFLA classification and induction section. It was established in 1981 with Robert P. Holle as the founder chairperson. Though its aim is somewhat similar to that of FIDC here, but at that time it had not been that effective and active as FIDC here. After the demise of FID, this group has become very active now. This section holds its one-day seminar at the time of annual IFLA conferences held every year in different countries. Some of its important functions are advocacy for classification. That classification is very useful and still relevant in all sorts of information retrieval and in all organizations. To gather knowledge about current developments in the field of classification and knowledge organization. It sponsors research in this area. Publishing and publicizing international developments in the field are its another major work. It formulates standards in classification, data representation in MARC. It serves as a forum for the third world needs, very particularly about the needs of developing countries like India and other such countries. It also acts as a clearinghouse for classification and KO literature. And it also prepares country reports on the state of the art of classification there. For example, in 1992, it invited a paper on the state of art in classification made by India or India's contribution to classification. To continue with IFLA classification and indexing sections, the essential aim of the IFLA section is to act as a forum for users and producers of classification and subject indexing tools. Its terms of reference are to promote standardization and uniform application of classification and subject indexing tools by institutions generating or utilizing bibliographic records. Second, to initiate and promote advice on research in the subject approach to information and to disseminate research results through open meetings and research publications. Since the closure of FIDCR, it has taken over some of its functions to carry on. The scope covered by this section is very wide. For example, it says the classification and indexing sections focuses on methods of providing subject access in catalogs, bibliographies, and indexes to documents of all kinds, including electronic documents. The section serves as a forum for producers and users of classification and subject indexing tools, and it works to facilitate international exchange of information about methods of providing subject access in libraries and information services of all types. It promotes standardization and uniform application of classification and indexing tools by institutions generating or utilizing bibliographic records. It initiates and gives advice about research in the subject approach to information and it disseminates the results through open meetings and publications. It works closely with other sections of the IFLA Division of Library Services and with the IFLA Unimark core actively. The next small though important association is known as ASINT, that is Information Association for Information Age. Since 1937, the US-based Association for Information Science and Technology has been the Association for Information Professionals leading the search for new and better theories, techniques, and technologies to improve access to information and knowledge. It brings together diverse streams of knowledge, focusing what might be different and varied approaches into novel solutions and common problems. ASI and T bridges the gap not only between disciplines but also between the research that drives the practices that sustain new developments. Its 4,000 members from all over the world are drawn from information specialists from such fields such as computer science, linguists, management, laboratory, engineering, law, medicine, chemistry, and education, and maybe more. All these members share a common interest in improving the way society stores, retrieves, analyzes, manages, archives, and disseminates information 
coming together for mutual benefit. The ASIS NT envisions to make its members effective information professionals and more indispensable to company institutions or organizations they serve. It aptly feels, to quote, techniques and technologies emerge daily in the fields of library and information science, communication, networking, and computer science, unquote. Yet information professionals in one discipline are more often unaware of the key developments in others. What an irony that a field advocating the development, sharing, and use of information is itself isolated. Purpose AFIS and T increases the influence of information professionals among decision makers by focusing attention on the importance of information as a vital resource in a high technology age and promotes informed policy on national and international information issues by contributing to the formation of these policies. As an association, it supports the advancement of the state of the art and practice by taking a leadership position in the advocacy of research and development in basic and applied information science. Next, to accomplish these goals, the association edits, publishes, and disseminates publications concerning research and development. It convenes annual meetings, providing a forum for paper presenters, discussions, and major policy statements. It regularly holds annual conferences in addition to smaller groups and special interest meetings, as well as special symposia, and acts as a sounding board for promotion of research and development and for the education of information professionals. This association has a special interest group, Classification Research, which studies the fundamental principles underlying processes and systematic construction of classification schemes and procedures by manual or machine methods. It is concerned with organizing information and includes indexing, index construction, indexing language, thesaurus construction, terminology, classification of information in any form, and testing and evaluation the effectiveness of these products. It also is concerned with the ability to develop theories from practical experience. Theoretical emphasis includes cognition, grouping, and organization of groups and linguistics. Another important center or association for research and classification is Documentation Research and Training Center, DRTC, Bangalore. It was founded by S. R. Ranganathan in 1962 on the invitation of the Government of India to impart and promote research and training in documentation work. Its initial work has been mostly concerned with classification theory and development of colon classification, which was the favorite fields. Ranganathan was a national research professor in library science from the year 1965 to his death in 72. The initial work of the center is concentrated upon designing very depth schedules for different special subjects. In general, center is concerned with entire theory of library classification. These are, number one, to do research in the design of classification methodology, idea verbal and notational plans. To study the modes of growth of knowledge. Three, the latest work of the center is reflected in POPSI and research in subject indexing language that is SIL by late Gopinath and late G. Bhattacharya. The center holds seminars, courses, professional and annual seminars. The DRTC earlier co-published the journal Library Salon with the documentation since 1964 and now the, it has been named as Library Science with the Salon to Documentation and Information. It is no more published by them. The center also did theory work on the feasibility of using colon classification in computerized classification system. The seventh edition of colon classification was published in 1987, which was edited by Professor M. A. Gopinath, who was at DRTC and was also the research assistant of Professor S. R. Ranganathan. The latest group working on classification is known as European DDC Users Group, EDUG, 
though it is mostly concerned with the DTC, but still it plays a good role in the classification in general. Over the past 10 years, extensive translation projects have been compiled in Europe to produce French, Italian, German editions of the Dewey Decimal Classification. Experience has shown that the translation and adaptations of the DDC in the European context can be difficult. It is in this context that EDUG was established in 2007 to work in partnership with the OCLC to foster cooperation in the development of DDC in Europe. At the moment, it has four active working groups for law, education, archives, and technical issues. In particular, the EDUG aims at number one to promote professional interest of all users of the DDC in Europe by the exchange of experience in the use of the DDC. That it is a forum to solve the problems of DDC in Europe and also to promote the use of DDC in Europe. The second aim is to coordinate proposals for the development of the DDC according to the bibliographic needs of the European libraries and users in collaboration with the DDC Editorial Policy Committee and OCLC in Dublin, Ohio, USA. It also encourages the development and dissemination of techniques, applications, software, documentation and procedures in the areas of translation and access to the DDC. And lastly, it encourages and promotes cooperation in translation of DDC into European languages. The Society of Indexers, United Kingdom. It was founded in 1957. The Society of Indexers is the only autonomous professional body for indexers in the UK and Ireland and is associated with other indexing organizations around the world. It is an organization in liaison with the Chartered Institute of Library and Information Professionals, which was earlier called Library Association London. Its office is in Sheffield, England, but has members worldwide. Membership is open to any person who is or intends to be directly involved in indexing and includes specialist indexers in more than a hundred different subjects from accountancy to zoology. It exists to promote indexing, the quality of indexes, and the profession of indexing. Societies for indexers. Apart from societies in classification, there are many such societies. Indexing is a core act and an area of knowledge organization which involves ordering of all types of knowledge. Index is defined as ordered arrangement of entities designed to enable users to locate information in a document or specific documents in a collection, ISO 999, 1996. Usually, indexers are involved in preparing back-of-the-book indexes, which is a highly technical and professional task. For the promotion of such fields, many independent organizations of indexers have come up in many countries, especially in the UK, USA, Canada, China, and Australia. Here we are given a brief discussion about uh, the two such societies active in the UK and USA respectively. The activities of the Society of Indexers are, it runs its own distance learning training courses, offering a thorough grounding in the principles and practice of indexing and leading to status of accredited indexer, that is chartered indexer. Members may often progress to advanced professional members and fellowships. The society also organizes an annual conference, produces a directory of indexers which are available to the people at large. It started publishing its international journal in the indexer with ISSN number 00194131 in print and also available online. In 1952, which continues today and is the official journal of all the indexing societies, not only of this UK. Originally published twice each year, it is now quarterly. Issues until two years ago are available online on its website. It also published its newsletter titled Sidelights, which is published quarterly and is only available to society members. A network of local groups and email discussion group 
helps satellites to keep its members in touch with one another. In nutshell, it's a no organization to call it the mother of all indexing societies. American Society for Indexing. Another important society, though not as influential as the UK, is the American Society for Indexing, ASI. Its nature and functions are as follow. ASI is a non-profit organization founded in 1968 as the American Society of Indexers to promote excellence in indexing and increase awareness of the value of well-written indexes. In March 2008, the name of the society was changed to the American Society for Indexing. ASI is governed by a board of directors elected from among the membership. The headquarters office of ASI handles member services, routine administrative tasks, and production of society's bulletin, that is keyword. The headquarter office of the American Society for Indexers is operated under contract by Sagebrush Association. Purpose and objective of the ASI. It is a non-profit educational and charitable organization. ASI serves indexers, librarians, abstractors, auditors, publishers, database producers, data searchers, product developers, technical writers, academic professionals, researchers, and readers, and others concerned with indexing. It is the only professional organization in the USA devoted solely to the advancement of indexing, abstracting, and database construction. ASI encourages the participation of all persons, groups, and organizations interested in indexing and related methods of information retrieval. Its mission is to advocate, educate, and provide the central resources for indexing. ASI is affiliated with indexing societies in other countries and has members from around the world and chapters across the United States. The annual meeting occurs in spring or summer. Chapter meetings and workshops are offered on a regional basis. Membership is open to any interested person may be writers, freelance and salaried, indexers, librarians, auditors, publishers, and organizations employing indexes. Functions of ASI ASI is committed to improve the quality of indexing and serves the needs of indexers. It works to accomplish these goals by 1. Increasing awareness by the value of high-quality indexes and indexing. 2. It offers members access to educational resources that enables them to strengthen their indexing performance and techniques. Third, it keeps members up to date on advances in indexing technology and the expanding role of indexing through conferences, workshops, and publications. Then, further, it provides members with a variety of means of communication through meetings, directories, publications, and electronic communication with each other and related professionals. It defends and safeguards the professional interest of indexers. It promotes indexing standards for indexers, auditors, and abstractors. And it provides lessons to other professionals, organizations in information science. ASI provides many services to its members who are indexers from different fields. ASI serves members whose expertise includes indexing print and electronic media, databases, indexing, abstracting, writing, and editing in all specialized fields, information development, information retrieval, library science, training and professional development, and standards development. Such benefits include annual conferences, then administration, judging, and presentation of the annual ASI EBSCO Publishing Award for Excellence in Book Indexing. The Heinz Award for Distinguished Services to the American Society for Indexers. Keywords ASI's electronic bulletin is issued 12 times a year with core annual printed edition. It provides opportunity to be listed in ASI's widely distributed annual directory of freelance indexers. Then other services to its members are the providing an ASI website organizational promotion of public education about indexing. It provides opportunities to pursue mentoring relationships and it provides a forum for networking. Summary. 
Over the last few decades, the field of knowledge organization has grown into a full discipline. It fulfills the requirements of a discipline, namely theory-based practice, literature, research, and above all, a professional organization of its members to promote it. Accordingly, the field has many associations of professionals, bodies, which are engaged in its promotion and propagation. These are classification research group CRG established in 1952 and which has contributed much towards its theory and practice. The CRG attracted some of the best brains in our profession, mainly B.C. Vikri, Jack Mills and many more. They brought a lot of prestige to the profession of KO and extended its boundaries. Another famous and still working organization is the International Society for Knowledge organization that is ISCO, founded in 1999 in Germany by Inge Todd Dahlberg. Now its office is in USA. ISCO organizes conferences and publishes the famous journal Knowledge Organization. Former FIDCR from 1952 to 2001 did lot of work in classification research and to popularize it. KO after the closure of FID, the work has been transferred to IFLA section on classification and indexing. Similarly, ASIST is an American association which has a subject interest group on classification that is SIGCR. DRTC at Bangalore, founded by Ranganathan in 1962, also did pioneering work in classification theory and practice. There are indexing societies in UK, USA, Australia, China, etc., which promote the work of indexing exceptionally book indexes.